He is one of the most controversial rappers of all time for a reason. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today, we're counting down our picks for the top 5 times Eminem didn't give a f Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we'll be looking at various controversial moments throughout Eminem's career in which it is very obvious that he gave zero f**ks. We'll be ranking our list on a combination of the degree of controversy and the lack of f**ks Eminem gave. Number 5. Two Arrests in Two Days On June 3, 2000, nearly two weeks after the Marshall Mathers LP dropped, Eminem was arrested in Michigan for pulling an unloaded gun during an incident at an audio shop. He was arrested again early the next day when he assaulted John Guerrera for kissing his wife, Kim Mathers. Eminem pleaded guilty to the assault and was punished with two years probation. It's clear that Eminem continued to hold a grudge against Guerrera after his arrest. He dramatized the event in The Kiss, a skit on the Eminem show, and referenced the attack in his hit song, Sing for the Moment. You foolish too, Guerrera. That was a hit. The lesson here? Don't piss off Eminem. Number 4. Kim It's very clear that Eminem isn't against slandering his own family members, as we'll soon find out. Kim was released on the Marshall Mathers LP and details the horrific murder of his wife, Kim Mathers. How could you just leave me and love him out the blue? Oh, what's the matter, Kim? Am I too loud for you? The song begins with M sorrowfully confronting Kim for cheating on him and ends with him chasing her through the woods and slitting her throat. Come on, get out! I can't, I'm scared! I said get out! Then let go of my hand! The song was so controversial that lyrics concerning a murdered child were censored and the song was omitted altogether from the album's clean version. Eminem didn't care who he offended with the song, whether it was moral watchdogs or his own wife, who slapped a $10 million defamation lawsuit on the rapper. Number 3. Dissing His Own Mother Marshall Mathers did not have an easy childhood. He was constantly changing schools, his father had left when he was young, he was bullied, and, according to him, his mother was a paranoid drug addict. Throughout M's early career, his hatred towards his mother was obvious. He would slander her in interviews, he referenced her alleged dope use in My Name Is, and the entirety of Cleaning Out My Closet details his alleged horrific upbringing. His mother sees things differently, as she wrote a book detailing her point of view, and sued Eminem for $10 million. M buried the hatchet with headlights, but it seems as if their relationship has been permanently stained. Number 2. Sleeping Through the Academy Awards For most people in the entertainment industry, a prestigious award is the sign that you've made it. You've earned the respect of your peers, and you're considered the best within your respective field. Eminem wasn't so bothered. At the 75th Academy Awards, Lose Yourself became the first rap song in history to win Best Original Song. Because of rap's perceived negative stigma, Eminem didn't believe that he would win. So rather than going to the show and just hoping for the best, he decided to stay home and catch up on some sleep. Not too many can say that they slept through themselves making history, but Eminem can. Number 1. Drawing a line between him and his fans Wait, how was I gonna start this off? Most artists would love all the fans they can get. However, Eminem has proudly declared that if you're a supporter of Donald Trump, he wants nothing to do with you. Then says he wants to lower our taxes. Then who's gonna pay for his extravagant trips back and forth with his fam to his golf resorts and his mansions? Eminem performed a freestyle rap for the 2017 BET Hip Hop Awards in which he brutally attacked Trump calling him a racist, a slanderer, and Donald the bitch, among other colorful things. Cause I'm throwing that piece of shit against the wall till it stinks! He then ended his freestyle by drawing a line between him and his Trump supporting fans before giving them the finger. It was, in short, the ultimate giving of zero Fs. Clearly, Eminem ran out a long time ago. And we love our country, but we hate Trump! Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.